My name is Tamara Mohammed, and um, I'm Senior Legal Counsel at Jamaicans for Justice. Jamaicans for Justice is a citizens' rights organisation based in Kingston, Jamaica. We have a Kingston chapter and a Montego Bay chapter. And one of the issues that we uh, are particularly concerned about is extrajudicial killing um, at the hands of police officers. Well, my motivation uh, was that I wanted to know more about the UN system and how the UN system, how NGOs engage with the UN system. Um, I had an understanding of the UN system from a, from a legal perspective, um, but really just from the inter international criminal courts. It was quite important for me to know how, how, do, how do we as an NGO engage with the UN system. But it was interesting how it was delivered to us. It was delivered to us in a way that was kind of user-friendly. Um, we used the Moodle system, um, so we had we had interacted with the schedule and the timetable and some of the ideas prior to arriving in Geneva. I think how the course has helped us is really networking, particularly um, knowing who to contact in Geneva. Well, we met lots of great other human rights defenders. Um, and being a human rights defender in a region where human rights are, are not as well valued as other places in the world, it was nice to meet other people who were doing the same work um, because you can sometimes think you're a little crazy when you're, when you're somewhere and you're saying, you know, everybody is entitled to rights. I think because the course also allows you to be here and to attend the Human Rights Council sessions and attend lunchtime meetings, you really realise how how important those interactions are. When I was here in March, it happened to be the UPR adoption um, for Jamaica as well. So on the 17th of March, I was here and went to the, the, the Human Rights Council. Um, my, um, my action plan was to follow up the UPR and the implementation and to ensure that the government worked with civil society, and if not, that civil society was able to um, raise awareness as to what the recommendations were. Well, my advice would be to make sure you do your reading before you come, so you can really get the best of receiving the information and being here. Um, so you need to get to grips with what the system is, um, your civil society handbook, that becomes your Bible, um, and to really come with an open mind as to how your small NGO or your big NGO can utilise the UN system.